If you love liberty, declare your independence by signing the Shire Society Declaration at ShireSociety.com. Coming to you from Massachusetts, my name is Sam J. Trump, then you ain't black. <laughs> the reason I voted for Trump is because I'm not a racist. I mean, listen, Congresswoman Omar said that Trump rallies are Klan rallies. Well, I'm not dead. You need to read the Constitution of New Hampshire. The Constitution of New Hampshire says that you are not to be restricted. It is supposed to be every one of us that has the right to speak, to assemble, to worship wherever we want to. This is all about controlling you because he wants you to wait until that vaccine is developed. Well, don't take that vaccine. This is your sovereign body. Do not let anybody put anything in this body that you do not consent with information to receive. That is your sovereign right. Do not let anybody inject you with anything. This is a live free or die state, right? We are not to comply. We are to live free or die. Live free or die. Do not do not comply. Do not. Thank you. Live free or die, death is not the worst of evils. Ian Freeman? Hello, good morning. Thank you for coming out here today. My name is Ian Freeman. I am one of the people who's suing Governor Sununu. other people in here that had a lawsuit against um, Sununu. Can you guys come up here? Is there anybody else here? I know that there's other people and I know that they were going to be here. They just might not be here right now. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but this is really important. Okay. All right. Just so you guys know, he's not alone. There's other people. Yeah. Hey, dude. Good to see you. Uh, so, speaking of Sununu, I just want to let you guys know that tomorrow at 2 p.m., uh, I'll be out there, and I think some of you guys are going to be out there. Brennan, you're going to be out there, too. Uh, we're going to be at Sununu's house for the first time ever. I don't, I've been doing activism here for like 15 years. I don't think anyone's ever gone to the governor's house before. It's happening tomorrow. Uh, his address is, what, 71 Hemlock Court in Newfields, New Hampshire. Um, you can go to freekeen.com. There's a link there, a picture of his house. And there's plenty of parking. And, yeah, it's, it's you know free parking. So come on, come on by and let him know that you're not happy with what's going on here in New Hampshire. So that aside, um, I'm going to say a few things here that I don't know are going to go over real well, but I want to just throw a few ideas out there to you. Um, even if you are to stop the steal on this election, if Trump is actually reelected, I want to remind you that the stealing won't stop because government is force, it is violence against our neighbors, and even if Trump's in charge, that doesn't change that taxes are theft. Okay? He hasn't stopped the government, it's not what he's going to do. Um, the federal government is evil. It doesn't matter if it's Donald Trump, Barack Obama, George Bush. It doesn't matter who is in charge of it. It is hurting our families. It's hurting our friends. It is not a good organization. They don't do good things. They hurt people. Okay? So, I love New Hampshire. I love the freedom that New Hampshire represents, and many of you received a flyer from me today. I'm almost out. I have a few more. If you didn't get one, come see me. I'll give it to you. But it's all about New Hampshire independence, and that means that it's time for New Hampshire to declare independence, just like we did from the king a couple of hundred years ago. The, founder, the founding fathers had a good idea. Get away from tyranny. 
say goodbye to rulers and having independence for ourselves. Unfortunately, I'm sorry to tell you this, America is a failed experiment. It didn't work. America has become an international force that is oppressing people all around the globe. And it doesn't matter who's running it. That hasn't changed. Now, to Trump's credit, he is pulling some troops out of Afghanistan, so kudos to him for that. Uh, but, you know, we need to pull out of America and just have New Hampshire. Live free or die is a great concept, and we're never going to achieve it underneath the United States. So, please keep that in mind. Think about that. What would life be like if you didn't have to pay whatever portion of your earnings that you work hard for every year to some criminals in Washington, D.C.? Wouldn't your life be better if you could keep what you earned and give it away, save it, invest it in the ways that you think are best? We will never have that freedom under the United States. So think about it. Uh, the Foundation for New Hampshire Independence, that's a great group. They kind of talk about these things. And uh, so that's what I had to say. Again, hope to see you guys out 2 p.m. tomorrow at the governor's house. Thanks so much. So we've had a lot of protests here in New Hampshire against what I think are these completely tyrannical and unconstitutional executive orders. Sununu has continued over and over and over again to renew the state of emergency. Even when we had zero people hospitalized from COVID-19, when we had zero people in the hospital, Sununu continued to expand the power, uh, the, his executive power. So what I'd like to see is have hundreds of us show up at his house peacefully. We're not anti we're not BLM. We don't trespass, we don't bang pots and pans at one in the morning. We show up peacefully at his house and we say, hey, Governor Sununu, your edicts are illegal. It is unconstitutional. Here in New Hampshire, we believe in live free or die. It's not just some motto we say for fun. It's what the state was founded upon. So what I suggest is we go to Sununu's house and we say, hey, Sununu, you're no longer going to ignore us. When you pass these orders, the people of New Hampshire will not comply. When you tell us to put on the goddamn face diaper and you say, hey, wear this or I'll fine you $2,000. Get this, people. Executive Order 65. If you violate any of his executive orders under the state of emergency, you can be fined $2,000. That means you, 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 and you. If you don't fight this now, we are going to end up looking like New York. We're going to end up looking like Massachusetts. You have to resist this now. These liberals talk about resistance. It means do not comply. That's all I got to say. 2 p.m., 71 Hemlock Court, Newfields, New Hampshire. I hope to see you there. How's everybody doing? Can I just say I love seeing all of your smiley faces without a face diaper on. side has more diversity than, than the other side. We do. Even if Joe Biden won fair and square, which he didn't, I would still be out here protesting because he's a Chi-Com agent and he sold our country out for years. So I would, I, I would still be out here even if he won fair and square protesting. Do not put him in office. And you have phony Kamala and you have that whole fake administration and that whole fake Democrat party that's faked so many things. They, you know, they've they shut down our country, they, they they destroyed businesses, you know, they got Clay Antifa, that's what I call them, I don't even call them Antifa, I call them Clay Antifa, that's, that's what they are, they burn down black businesses, they beat up people, they they, they stoke fear into people, we just want prosperity, we just want freedom, we want, you know, we, 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 that's what we want, and I don't see what the, I don't understand what the big deal is, why we're getting so harassed by, by you know, establishment media, and, and I tell people this all the time, like, the, the, those people aren't, we're the resistance, they're not, you're not the resistance, if you have big tech and you have, you know, millionaire celebrities, Hollywood, you have the entire establishment with you. You are not the resistance. We are the resistance. We have to stand up. We have to fight back. We'd like to invite you to visit freekeen.com. 
Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com. I should be in Keene, New Hampshire with the Free Staters.